Well, good morning everyone and uh, welcome back to uh, Oz Workshop. Um, I'm starting off a new project today. Um, as you can see, it's uh, what I've take, done is I've taken just a, a piece of three quarter inch uh, pine, uh, mainly because uh, this is going to be an experiment. It's the first go at it. I've watched a lot of YouTubes on painting and decorating and of course uh, uh, there's other uh, YouTube channels on, on how to decorate platters. Um, this is uh, my first go at it. I bought some paints, they're not really um, good quality yet, I mean we're, I'm only practicing. But the, uh, the idea is, is to um, uh, cover the platter before the, the bowl is, has been, uh, or the bowl part has been dished out and to um, cover it in, in a mixture of um, paint colours mixed with PVA uh, glue and with a little uh, spritz of uh, silicon in them. And the idea seems to be that it'll create all of these uh, little cellular structures over it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of effect I can get and um, uh, welcome along for the ride. So we have our ingredients, we have our uh, paint mixed, we're using uh, yellow, uh, red with uh, white and uh, black. So the idea is that it's called a dirty pour, uh, don't ask me why, but uh, in the parlance. And the idea is we, we layer the paint in, in, the, in the cup with the different colours and then by picking up our platter Putting the cup on, we open that up and let it just let it uh, drain there. Um, I've got this box here, which is makes it keeps everything contained. Hopefully, so I don't uh, pollute anything else in the uh, in the shed. Okay, so the idea is to um, hit the uh, um, the paint with just a, a spritz of silicon spray. Um, in each of the cups as we mix them and uh, hopefully that'll uh, create a bubble effect.
I'll bring you in close, having a real good look. You can see some of those cells. Really, really beautiful. So now comes the wait. Okay, here we are after the pour. It's uh, about 48 hours, and the idea now is um, we'll put this back on the lathe, and we're going to dish out the, out the centre. I may have to do a secondary painting because I'm not too sure how much uh, uh, of the white we're going to be left. So. We'll play that by ear, so we'll pop it on there and It's come up quite nicely. Just, I don't know whether I'll bring you closer with the uh, the camera, but it's got a natural dark line around there, which is of course is a profile of the build-up of the um, uh, the paint. So um, I was even thinking about putting a, a dividing line there, but it's created its own divide uh, own dividing line there as well. So. Um, We'll polish this up and uh, see what it looks like. Right, we'll take that off the, uh, and have a look at it in the light. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, you can see down there that it's got quite a shine in the centre with the natural timber. Um, I think that it gives you the option of taking that now and actually decorating that centre if I wanted to, but I think I, I like the plain wood expose uh, from there. Um, I was two minds whether to put an outer and inner border. I think this one I'll leave it because it's only a test piece any, anyway. And um, but I think it's uh, we've hit upon a, a nice decorating idea. So we welcome your comments and uh, um, yeah, pop them down in the comment section, and uh, I'll be really glad to hear them. Um, yeah, look forward to many more. Thank you.